Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of uh, Adventures in Beekeeping. Today what we're going to do is uh, attempt to locate and mark my queen. Um, this is the first time I've ever marked a queen, so it's going to be a unique experience. I just wanted to show you a couple of things that uh, I've acquired. One is um, obviously marking pen. Uh, I don't know, these things are like eight bucks or nine bucks or something like that uh, on Amazon. And uh, recommended for marking queens. And uh, red is 2018 color. And then the other one, this is, uh, this is actually a, uh, a push-in cage here, right here. And uh, as soon as I can get it in there, what you do is you uh, buy, locate the queen and you push it into the uh, comb. So that's what I'm going to attempt to do anyways today. Uh, this isn't really... there we go. Okay. It wasn't exactly working well but it's got three prongs in it and this you locate your queen, get the bees out of the way and just push it over her just gently so that she can no longer really move around and then uh, attend, attend, uh, put your dot on the top of her thorax and try not to paint her entire body. Uh, another little thing is I was given this actually and uh, I don't know how good this thing works but this is a uh, queen catcher of sorts they, they say and uh, you can kind of see you put this over place this end over the queen and it has a little slide so you put this over the queen and you can and you slide it and you catch her and then, and then you have these little queen excluder on top and then it has a, a little uh, a little push-in cage at the bottom um, that you uh, you push up uh, push her up to uh, I don't I'm not sure exactly am I missing a, a pop Part or, or what here? Let's see. Nope, doesn't look like it. And you just uh, push her, push her up to you, uh, to you get her in there. And then uh, I think you can. Well, I don't know if you can lock it or not, but it only locks at the bottom. There we go. So, anyways, I don't know. This is a Japanese thing. All the instructions are in Japanese or Chinese or something. So I don't have a clue. But uh, I think I'm going to go for the push-in cage first. Uh, another one of the things I wanted to show you, this isn't my idea, I got this from Jason Chrisman. Um, these are uh, livestock ear tags. Uh, and this is for marking, um, marking uh, your boxes. Um, so I have, uh, I have my boxes marked and labeled. Um, well, a couple of them anyways. And I'll show you that here, right here. You can kind of see. I got it marked down here with one. Whoops. And uh, and then I bought some L brackets as well to uh, attach those to, and I'll show you that in a second here. Here are the uh, little L brackets that I use to screw in right here. They have a little screw in half inch is what it is so you can put it in a quarter inch deeper if you want. And essentially what these do, you tear these off and then you can, this is in your hive, you can just pop that in and no amount of wind is going to blow that off because it, it, it's kind of difficult to pop that off so it works for labeling your hive and uh, this is what I'm going to use to identify each hive uh, I have an app called journey and I log into my journal entry it's a, just a journal entry it's an app and I use it on my desktop but I, it also has an app for your phone and it automatically uh, kind of uh, coordinates between the two um, it's free and uh, 
so that anything I write on the desktop it automatically updates to my uh, to my phone so I can go back and look at my journal and see what hives are doing what at what time uh, and what I need to do to them to each one so anyways I just wanted to show you that today what we're gonna do like I said is attempt to do a brief inspection I installed this on uh, on last Monday today is Saturday so it's been about six days and I just wanted to see you know um, what uh, what the hives been up to um, they've been bringing in a lot of pollen So uh, that's a good sign. Pollen is usually uh, being brought in for brood. And one thing that I noticed is that these two hives, which were nukes, were bringing in pollen from day one. Lots of it. And uh, they all, they had a queen laying queen already. The nuke over there, or which came in as a package, uh, queen had to be released, and she hadn't been laying as of two days ago. Um, they weren't bringing in pollen at all, just nectar. So um, that tells you that uh, there's no reason for them to bring in pollen if there's no brood. Uh, so uh, when I put these, installed these nukes, I couldn't find the queen either one. But bringing in pollen is an indication that uh, uh, maybe an indication. We'll have to we'll have to see that there is a laying queen and. Uh, and that I just have to locate her. So um, I'll be right back. Uh, i got one more item to get, and uh, and then we can start. Okay. Um, people have been asking about this. One of the things that uh, that I bought this bought this for five ninety nine on eBay, and. Uh, it's just a little uh, head magnifier. It's got an LED light, but I don't really need that for what we're doing. It has a battery in the back, and it's got a different uh, degrees of uh, magnification that you can slide in here. Uh, I've chosen one. It works, and I use this for finding eggs. Uh, I'm going to use it for grafting, but the other day it helped me find a queen. Uh, she popped out a little bit better for me in my eyes aren't the best in the world anymore and I have a really hard time I, I can't see eggs really at all so this will help me do that with this hive I do want to see if there's eggs uh, so that'll tell me that uh, the high the, the uh, queen didn't die and all that uh, and if you saw the episode two episodes ago um, all the uh, frame feeder all the bees that were dead in that frame feeder um, I'm hoping the queen wasn't one of them but uh, you never know but um, Anyways, this is what I'm going to use. Again, uh, I bought this off eBay for $5.99. It took 30 days to get here because it came from China. So they ship it on, uh, I don't know, goat or cargo ship or something. Uh, anyways, so uh, let's uh, get this on. And and as you can see, it flips up and flips down. So. Uh, you can see if you try to see far distances with it up. You, I mean, even that far, it's it's well, that far is a little blurry. Uh, you get up close and, and it really magnifies it really well. So that's why I got this. Um, so and uh, you'll also know that I notice I'm wearing a tool belt. Uh, the tool belt is uh, number one to uh, take advantage of. Um, my elastic on my uh, suit has gone, so bees can crawl up it. So this is kind of kind of serving a dual purpose. Uh, plus, it's going to hold some of my tools here. So, um, I have to have things handy, my gloves, whatnot. Um, going to try to go uh, gloveless today um, because I am handling the queen. Uh, this is going to be new for me, so bear with me. Anyways, uh, let's uh, get a little smoke in these bees to get started. And uh, I'm going to put my, my hood up just because 
can. And zip myself in. You know, it's funny, I kind of quashed a couple of bees the last time um, on the uh, inner cover. And uh, the bees for the last few days have attempted like hell to pull out their sisters. Um, dead corpses, which is uh, very, very um, unique. Very interesting. Well, let's get They've used probably half of the uh, of the syrup. And uh, I'm gonna give them a little smoke in here as well. They are humming right along here. I don't see anybody on the inner cover. Okay. I'm gonna have to help out the sisters a little bit. We're going to have to remove the pollen patty here. They've, uh, in a week, they've, they've done some work to it, it looks like. You can kind of see they've uh, eaten between all the frames. So, uh, so that's good. Let's get that out there. Well, Come on guys, get down. starting to build out that comb on the bottom there that wasn't built out before which is nice and uh, we've actually eaten some honey there huh that's pretty cool because this was that that was the partial honey frame that I had left them now here is a uh, empty frame that I gave them and they haven't even started drawing this out hardly any bees on it whatsoever which is uh, unfortunate I'm gonna leave that one on the outside there actually I'm gonna put the honey one in so what we're gonna look for here is uh, 
eggs, larvae, everything. This is a completely empty comb. There's some pollen, nectar, not a lot. Not a lot of bees on this one. Pollen, nectar, no eggs. No sign of the queen. Bees seem fairly calm. Okay, now this is one of the original frames that came with the nuke. In Houston, we may have a problem. No eggs, no larvae. They're filling the cells with nectar for sure. This side had cat brood on it last time. They're half hatched out. They're infilling with pollen. Oh gosh, I'm going to have to order me a queen, looks like. Uh, they've got, uh, looks like, queen cups up here. Let's see what they got here. Yep. Well, they're making their own queen, looks like. There's queen cups with, uh, with pupa in it. So this hive had definitely lost its queen. That's unfortunate. Like I said, I kind of thought that that might be the case. And uh, I honestly don't want them to uh, to supersede her. This hive is looks like it's queenless. Well, that certainly sucks.
They've chewed out some brood. Well, this is not good news. I don't want, I don't like that. Careful who you buy from, apparently, huh? There are no new larvae, none. Well, it's got cat brood to survive itself for a while. I'll have to get it a new queen, and I better order that today and fast. like they're chewing through some some cat brood cells and they're exposing uh, some dead brood and they must be pulling them out oh yeah there's there there look at that they're down at the bottom there's your uh, there's your queens queen cups down or queen cells down there um, definitely 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 they have uh, Damn it. Oh well. Yep, we got one that is tearing down. Two, there's one that's completely capped. So we're going to have to uh, definitely. requeen this one. That's a shame. Oh, oh well. I'm just going to put this back together and button them up. I don't know. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, I don't want uh, Italians. I wanted Carnolians and uh, Well, I suppose what we can do is go in here and get some, get some more smoke here. Pretty calm for not having a queen. I think I know what I'm going to do. I am going to split this one out. I'm going to get them a queen later. Make a little split here. My mini mini noob. And uh
I, I don't think, I think she, I don't think the guy prepared the hive very well. I thought maybe it had, she had drowned and she did. I mean, I'm gonna guess that that's what happened. Well, as it turns out, my queen was indeed not here. Um, as I thought, I couldn't find her when I was installing the package, and uh, and uh, that's not always the case, obviously. Uh, there was larva, but I had a funny feeling after seeing the condition of the uh, frame feeder that uh, that she could have very well have, have drowned in there. So I got to get a uh, hive tool and I'll do it. Right here. And that is uh, disappointing to say the least. I was not happy about this guy that uh, I bought the nukes from, the condition of the high, of the nukes that they came in. Um, so now I have to order a carnol carnolian. And the uh, problem is, uh, I'm gonna have to get it overnighted actually. Uh, then I'll have to go in and get rid of all the queen cups and uh, get her in there. So. Uh, let's see what uh, let's see what happens. That's unfortunate. So and I have to go through all my hives that I got from him. I got four of them, four nuke, four nukes from him, and to see how many queens I'm gonna need. My my package. I found the queen there yesterday, so um, there's no worries there. So I'm going to guess the reason that they were bringing in pollen into this hive, heavy, was for uh, royal jelly, to make royal jelly for the, for the queens. Um, you know, live and learn. Paid $150 for a nuke and now I have to pay $35 for a freaking queen to get it shipped here, and plus shipping obviously. I, it's just too early in the season, I, I just don't have any any queens available. Um, what I what you saw me do is I took a fully developed queen cell. Uh, I got rid of all but two. Uh, one was partially developed. Um, and I put it in a mating nuke over uh, on the other side of my yard. And uh, just it's just, just a two frame mini mating nuke. And uh, I'm gonna just let that one become a, uh, a four frame eventually in 30 days uh, you know uh, that queen will be you know hatch be mated uh, and start producing and then I can take her out put her in a four frame nuke and uh, and grow more bees from that so that's what I, my, my plan is I didn't want to take from this but uh, I really got no choice in the matter anymore uh, I didn't want to waste the queen cell as it were so anyways uh, that's where we sit. Um, you know, I, I, I took the pollen patty off, but I'm not going to put it back on. I'm actually going to give it to that, that nuke down there, uh, I think, uh, just to give them a little head start. And uh, uh, that's just a shame. So I'm going to have to check this hive out. smoke coming out of here a little bit I'm gonna move the camera around so you can see
through about half of that. I don't see the queen there. More bees in this one. I'm hopeful for this hive. I'm almost out of smoke here. this frame whatsoever. This is for last year frame and they haven't even they haven't really worked on this one too much at all. Here's a frame. Lots of pollen. So we're gonna put down my little my little shield here so I can see what I'm doing and look for the queen and eggs. Okay, nothing there. Just pollen and honey. Oop, sorry buddy. Kind of mushed you. Um, let's get rid of this pollen patty for right now. And they've worked on it a little bit, but nothing too awful. Serious. I don't see the queen on there. You wouldn't expect to. On a cap brood. There's a queen cup with whoop. I just breathed on them accidentally. With larvae in it. Looks like. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Some larvae around the exterior here. So she was laying, well, eight days ago anyways. Seven days ago, six days ago. And what I wanna find are eggs, or her. Outside, little nectar on the outside.
let's see what we got. This is just packed full of cap brood, that's for sure. There's a lot of drone comb. I'm going to get rid of this. Whew, that's a big freaking larva right there, man. Look at the size of that baby. Huh? Wow. That might have been a queen, for all I know. Lots and lots and lots of capped larva. I'm hoping I can find her. I haven't seen one egg though. But she was looks like she was laying as of uh, well I don't know six days ago anyways. Now this is a frame where I'd expect her to see be see her on. Lots of pollen, empty cells. Well, there are two day old larvae in there, so this is a frame where I'd expect to see her on. Because it looks like she's been here. So that's good. And there's boatloads of them. Looks like a really good pattern too. Older in the middle and younger as they go out. That's a really good pattern actually. Boy, I wish I could spot her. I'd like to get her marked. I would have expected her to be right here. So.
searching hard, but I don't see her. That said, she's in here somewhere. So that's good. There she is, okay, we got her. She was on this frame, good. And of course, gotta find the push-in cage. I just, did I lose her? There she is, she's a big girl. I did not want to do that. She's not being very cooperative here. Okay, I got her. Wow, that was harder than I thought. Now you can see her. See her walking around there? There she goes. All right. So we've got a big healthy queen. Doesn't look like a carnelian queen, but uh, whatever. And she's laying well. And she's marked. That pushing cage was not the easiest in the world. I was not expecting uh, that to be that difficult. It doesn't push in very, very well. The queen was the only one that could actually squeeze through. The rest of them were um, all right. They're starting to get a little testy on me.
good. Okay, well, I've got a uh, clean rate. Five. Like I said, that was a little more difficult than I was going to give it credit for. One of these days I'll get comfortable uh, picking up the handling the queen. I just didn't want to uh, risk damaging her because of my relative inexperience. So, there we go. Whoop, let's put this one in the back. I got one bee that just won't leave me alone, man. Cool. Okie dokie. Thanks for coming with me. Uh, that was a uh, 50% successful, let's say. Uh, but it was good to know that I didn't have a queen in the one colony here. Uh, I did a split in a two-frame nuke, and then I'm gonna order a queen for this one. Uh, I have two more nukes uh, at the farm to uh, to look at today, and uh, I'm gonna get over there as soon as I can so I know how many queens I have to order. But uh, it's good to know we at least have one in here. So, till next time, happy beekeeping. Okay, I just wanted to do a little addendum to my uh, to my video today. Um, I uh, I did an inspection on um, my two other uh, nuke installs and two package installs, and uh, I found the queen in three of the other ones and marked them. So that was good. The f the other uh, the fourth one. There was eggs galore and, and larvae and it looked like it was a good laying queen. I just couldn't verify that uh, um, I couldn't see, I couldn't find her so I couldn't mark her. But I knew she was there so that was a good sign. Um, one of the things uh, in the first, so I'm only going to have to order one uh, queen uh, and I'm going to go try, try to go uh, get a... Uh, uh, Saskatraz uh, Queen uh, Carnolian um, anyways um, but uh, one of the things you didn't see or uh, you didn't see because I wasn't prepared for for filming it was um, when I split out that first nuke that we did and uh, this is the uh, the mini mini nuke that I did and it's been about oh four hours since I did it I guess and uh, I just put, all I did was put the one frame with um, 
two queen cells down the bottom. Uh, I pinched off all the other ones. Uh, one is completely capped off. The other one is in the process of being built. So, um, you know, she's going to probably hatch first the, the one that's capped off and kill the other one, and that's and that's fine. But I, I, I didn't want to waste that queen cell, and that's why I did. And I put them in this two-frame mini mating nuke. Like I said, I just put one frame in, and then I shook off another frame of, of nurse bees uh, in here. It doesn't take a whole lot of bees in these little mini mating nukes uh, to, for this to work. Um, I put, uh, I got a little uh, syrup on top here for them. Uh, there's a patty in there for them. And, uh, and as you can tell, they're coming back to the hive here. So um, that's, uh, that's what we want to see. It's, it's working. And when I first put them in there, they were not coming in and out of there and, uh, and whatnot. So uh, I didn't know how this was going to work. But uh, it looks like they've kind of found their way. And, uh, and they're, they're coming in. Uh, they're not, I don't know if they're bringing in pollen or bringing in anything. But uh, they have a pollen patty. They have some, uh, some syrup. Um, I also have a, uh, an empty frame in there, and uh, as they generate their wax glands, they got to have some place to uh, to make to put some wax uh, because right now they're 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 queenless. So um, so there we go. Uh, I'm looking forward. This is my first time actually attempting, uh, and this is what they are going. You're going to. Uh, I'm going to call a, a walk away split, I guess, because. Uh, um, I'm essentially just walking away from it, and then 30 days from today, we're going to go and come come back here, and we're going to check it out and uh, see if we have a, a laying queen. It's going to take her a while. She has to hatch. She has to harden, uh, and then she has to go out and get mated, maybe a couple of ma mating flights. Then she comes back, and then it's going to be about a week before maybe a little longer before she even starts laying after she comes back from her maiden flight, a mating flight if she comes back from her mating flight because a lot of times they can uh, they can get killed um, you know bird tape picks them off dragonfly picks them off whatever so um, anyways but but uh, it's good that I, I, I didn't get to have to waste uh, that uh, that queen cell and see and what, what's gonna happen in 30 days uh, when she starts laying I'm gonna pull the two frames out of here and I'm gonna put them in a four frame nuke and uh, and then we're going to grow, grow bees, and this is going to be uh, a colony for next year. Um, they're only they're only going to be, um, you know, nukes. They're not. It's not going to be uh, generating uh, any honey or anything like that. But it's going to be uh, bees for, you know, uh, producing more bees um, to replace anything that I lost for next year. So. Um, so yeah, so I'm, I'm just sitting here watching these bees go in and out of here, and and, uh, and they seem to be calling this home and trying to determine who's going to be the forager now, because I pretty much just put nurse bees in here. Who's going to be the foragers, who's going to be the nurse bees, who's going to be the guard bees, and whatnot. So um, this is going to be an interesting little experiment. Um, one of the things, I built these, these are feeders, and, uh, and I had four of them, and uh, I I put the syrup in these feeders, and I tried everything. I I, uh, I sprayed them with uh, Flex Seal. I sprayed them with uh, uh, oh I don't even plastic dip. I uh, caulked all the seams, and then I and then when that didn't work, when that still leaked, I epox I, I bought epoxy, which cost me 60 bucks. I rolled that in there all over everywhere, and uh, and when I put the sugar water in this time, it leaked like a sieve. So. I've decided to scrap that uh, that uh, plan and just go with uh, uh, you know a jar a jar feeder on top with a, there's an inch and a half hole underneath here and then uh, and then of course oh when we don't need the feeder anymore we'll have a plug and we'll just plug that in but uh, so anyways. You know, one of the things that uh, I forget um, is that uh, how long it takes to uh, inspect the hives. You know, I mean, it's a, it's a careful process and whatnot. You know, you don't 
you don't rush through it, especially newer beekeepers like myself. Um, I don't rush through my inspections or anything like that, but I did uh, seven inspections today. Uh, obviously, you know, one didn't go as planned, and uh, I think I started somewhere around 11 o'clock. It's, uh, it's about, about 4 o'clock now, 4.30. So it was about five hours out of my Saturday to, uh, to do these inspections. Uh, a hobby that takes, uh, takes a long time to, uh, to get going. Um, it, it's, it's a time-consuming time endeavor for sure. Uh, you know, there's other things that I could be doing. My garden uh, has to get planted. Uh, but, uh, you know, once I get everything established, you know, I only have to be in to my bees once every couple of weeks to check in on them, make sure that they've got enough room and they've got, got enough space. But uh, but anyways, I just wanted to let you know that, that uh, about the, the mini mating nuke and how my other inspections went today that I didn't film. Um, the push-in cage uh, to mark the queen didn't, it wasn't what I thought it would be. I was I was pushing down, but I didn't want to push too far. And the queen was squirming around in there, and I was trying to get it done. I had other bees trapped in there as well. There was just no way to, to do it otherwise. And then other bees were getting a little upset because, hey, Queenie must be sending out some kind of signal because there was all kinds of bees kind of like uh, uh, flying around and getting a little agitated that uh, queen was uh, trapped. But anyways, um, it was hard to get her to stay still so that I could mark the top the one I marked her thorax and uh, I got a little bit on her wing um, which probably isn't going to affect anything but I did not want to do that um, so I just am not comfortable yet um, you know I've never handled a queen before um, I'm gonna get there today was my first day without gloves to handle the bees I didn't get stung I did seven hives I didn't get stung so that was a good thing uh, I wore my veil. Um, bees don't tend to kind of go after you on your arms and stuff like that as much as they they go right for your uh, for your your face area where your eyes are. I guess that's that's kind of the defense mechanism from getting ripped apart by bears over for a thousand years. But uh, anyways, um, I just want to let you guys know um, what the outcome was. It was a good day. It was a fun day. It was a warm day. It's almost 80 degrees. Two weeks ago, two weeks ago there was 30 inches of snow here, and these were buried up to here in snow. That was two weeks ago, and uh, just, um, just I mean, look, grass is green, and and uh, it's just amazing here in Wisconsin what uh, what the weather is like. It's just to wait till tomorrow. It could, you know, we could be ice skating. So, anyways, uh, if you got any questions or comments, leave them below. Um, I hope you, you uh, like my videos enough to subscribe um, and, uh, and give me a thumbs up if, if you like them. Um, if you don't, again, just leave me a comment and let me know why. Let me know what I can do better. This is a learning process for me and I hope it's a learning process for you as well as you follow me along. Um, you know, the next thing we're going to do um, is the next inspection is probably going to be in a, in a week. Uh, to see if, how the bees are expanding, if I need to put a second box on. And then um, I'm going to start looking to, uh, if when I put the second boxes on, I'm going to, about another 10 days after that, maybe another week after that, um, I'm going to look to start uh, doing my first grafting. Uh, the, the, some of the colonies were producing drone comb, which was good to see. Um, so we're going to have drones flying around uh, and uh, to be able to mate with and that's the most important part about grafting is you got to have drone you got to have drones so um, we'll see how it goes uh, none of these over here had much for for drone combs so i'm a little i'm a little i don't know what's going to happen with this queen because there aren't a lot of drones around here i'm the only beekeeper around here and uh and i have no other hives and uh, 
you know, there's a couple of drones in my colonies, but not nothing, nothing significant. And there's a few drone comb, but they're going to hatch out, and it's going to take them, oh, 21 days to hatch out. 24 days actually it takes them to hatch out. So, um, hopefully, this queen uh, doesn't have too much problem getting mated. Maybe she can find some other feral bees or something. I, we can only hope. So, anyways, till next time, happy beekeeping.